Hello, my YouTube friend, Pop Comics here. And I decided to go to all my local comic shops and raid their dollar bin. I got two short boxes tied to a cart just in case I find a lot of really cool stuff. All right, let's get going. Remember, the Mothman loves you. All right, I'm here at Comic Station. Just look at the stuff they have outside. It's really awesome, Howard, the Duck Treasury. It's amazing. Doctor Strange, Action Comics number one. Looks like they have children's books underneath. They have dollar magazines. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna dig that after I dig the comics. Alright, let's go into the. Oh, wait, look at this. Sergi Aragonis cards. I kind of want that box. Alright, let's go in the shop. Alright, so they were playing loud music in the shop, so I'm just gonna narrate over it and kind of give you some ideas of what I look for when I'm going through a comic bin like this. I, uh, I usually look for older comic book stuff that's hard to find online for a buck i look for key issues i look for things of value if i can find a comic book worth ten dollars i'll probably grab it even if i have it because i know i can sell it for 10 bucks and it helps pay for 10 comic books if i sell it uh i'm looking for stuff that i know a dollar would be hard to get or stuff that would be hard to pay a dollar for online you know it might be two or three dollars online it's not expensive online but something i'd want and if i can pull out of a dollar bin to fill in one of my collections I'll grab that uh, and I also what else do I look for I look for, for stuff that's just kind of interesting looking maybe something I've never seen before maybe it's an indie comic book maybe it's a artist I really like that I've never seen before or a cover I've never seen by that artist and so I'll do that oh and here I'm digging through his graded stuff and he has a Betty and Veronica number one I've been eyeing for months one of these days i feel like i'm going to save up and pull the trigger on it or maybe try to negotiate the price down you want 1600 dollars? if i could get that for like 1400 1200 i'd be thrilled check out these daredevils it's really awesome to see such cool old school daredevils and lots of bronze age goodies they do put some nice books in their dollar bin occasionally sometimes it's kind of picked over but I saw that they had just restocked a couple days before. So I figured, you know what? Why don't I dig through it? See what I could find. Uh, this is their kind of side room with the more expensive stuff. Uh, I find their prices tend to be slightly higher than I would like to pay on a lot of things. But if you look at everything, occasionally you'll find a really good deal on something or maybe something that's gone up in value recently. And you can kind of grab it because they haven't repriced it yet. Um, and then they had a whole bunch of really cool golden age stuff they just put out on the wall that's kind of neat a little bit more than i want to pay though i think i could get a lot of that stuff cheaper online but just fun to see golden age in a shop you don't see that too often you usually see just more modern stuff and this store just specializes on back issues and you'll see them selling at the conventions and that kind of stuff but it's just really fun to see so many awesome older books on the wall check them out Whew. Okay, I ended up spending 300 bucks. I got them to sell me a $40 pop for 15 bucks on top of the 285 for the dollar comic books. Uh, it was a ton of fun. I love digging through the dollar bins. I gotta do this more often this year so I can do more videos for you guys. Uh, let's head back to my office so I can show you everything I picked up at the shop. All right, so I ended up with two boxes of comics from the store. Let's just start going through them. I pulled out so much stuff. Uh, okay, so we got some fun newer Archie variants, I guess. I don't know if they're worth more than a buck, but for a dollar, I'll buy a, a Archie variant. That's cool. Life with Archie 36. Uh, I love buying older Batman from the 80s and earlier. So we have Detective 582. If I have it, then I can easily probably get like 3 to $5 for something like this. And if I don't have it, then that's awesome. We have Guardians of the Galaxy number 9. I'll pick these up all day long for a dollar. We have Life with Archie 37, a really fun cover, another cool variant. Uh, oh, okay, I grabbed a couple of those. <laughs> I guess I'll be selling one. Uh, Life with Archie 37 variant. Life with Archie 36, love this cover. I think this is a gorgeous cover. Just when I'm digging through dollar bins, you know, I just, I'm not as picky. I just grab anything that I think looks cool, that I want, that I think I can sell. Uh, Wonder Woman 17. Uh, Groot number eight. Okay, so there were a bunch of Groot comic books. My friend Sean saw these two weeks ago. He asked me if I wanted him to pick them up. And I said, you know, I probably had them. So I, I kind of told him not to because I didn't want him to spend his money. Uh, but then I decided, you know what, I'm going to go there and try to pick them up. 
So we have Gru the Wanderer number eight. I probably have this issue. I have to double check if uh, it says 75 cents. I guess it was 75 cents by that time. Either way, I love Gru. I'll pick up Gru all day long. And I think the value of these are going up a little bit because if they are coming out with a cartoon, these are going to be a lot more demand. Uh, Gru number 20. Gru number three. I mean, an early issue. I mean, it's not mint or anything, but for a dollar, why not? Uh, Gru 13. Gru number six. Gru 19. Man, I love these so much. <laughs> Gru 12. Gru 42. Uh, Brian Boland, Wonder Woman, number 87. That is cool, too. I'll buy those all day long for a buck. Okay, next stack. And then, I, you know, I'll grab any cool-looking Bronze Age stuff for a dollar. That's just such a great price. Green Lantern, 153. 136. Another Guardians of the Galaxy, number 10. These had jumped in a lot of value after that first movie. Their value's down now, but I still think these are worth picking up, especially for a dollar. Archie 699. That's a really nice cover. Archie 1941. I really thought uh, Betty and Veronica looked cool in their 1940s look. Thought that was really cool. Uh, Daredevil number 133. I mean, why not? A dollar? A couple of those. I'll probably end up selling because I think I have both of those, but that was a great price. Uh, I also grabbed a lot of Cerebus issues. I would love to put a full run of these. Number one's going to be really hard to get because it's rare, expensive, and easily bootlegged. So there's some. Hard to tell bootlegs out there, but for a dollar each, I'll pick up almost every one I find. Number 93. Uh, Supernatural's number three. Really awesome. You got Werewolf by Night, Ghost Rider, Dracula, Frankenstein. For a dollar. I think that's actually a really good price on that. Supernatural's number one. That's cool, too. Uh, Gambit number one. I kind of passed over it, and then I realized, you know what? This series probably has a little bit of value, so why not? Especially if he ever comes to MCU, people are going to want this. So we have a few issues of those. And then uh, Marvel vs. DC number two. That has some value, I think. That's probably like a $10 to $20 comic book. And then Avengers vs. JLA number four. This one, pretty decent shape. I think that's like a $20 comic book. So yeah, I'll pick that up all day long. Uh, okay, we have Adventure Time number 37. I'll grab any Adventure Time I see. Because if I need it, I'm really thrilled to get it. And if I don't need it, they sell pretty well for me. Uh, Madame Mirage number two. This is a Kenneth Rockefort cover. I love his artwork, so I'll grab anything he does. Uh, more Bronze Age goodness. Green Lantern 156. Green Lantern 128. Green Lantern 151. And these are probably undervalued. Now, once this comes to HBO, I think the value of Green Lantern is going to pop. Uh, Green Lantern 129, unless the show sucks. Uh, Justice League 213. Daredevil 145. Daredevil 152. Man, these are cool. Uh, I did grab a bunch of fables. I grabbed issues above 100 and below 20 because I think that's where I need most of the ones I need. I need to put together a list of what I actually needed because they had a bunch more there. But at a dollar, I figure I'll grab a couple. If you know I do end up having some of these, I can get my dollar back. I'm not worried about it. Uh, let's see, number 115. 116. Love these covers. Oh, they're gorgeous. 117. 118. Uh, 50, oh, I grabbed, this one is in the middle. I might have this one already, but I really love this cover. I thought that cover was beautiful. Okay, I've got some more. I mean, this Bronze Age Daredevil stuff, this, when I put this in my shop for like 3 to $5, it sells so well. So I don't mind grabbing that. The more mid '80s stuff, this stuff, probably more like 2 or $3, still sells well. Happy to grab that. Uh, Wonder Woman 42. I don't think I had that one, so that's cool. Uh, oh, and they had a bunch of these cool Life with Archie's. I love the covers on these, and this is going into the era of Archie's I normally don't grab. But I think the Life and Archie issues are still really cool. You know, Betty and Veronica are in a burning building, and the you know fireman's ladder is falling apart. Like, what kind of craziness is going on there? Life with Archie 162, there's like some weird camera eyeball alien something invaded. I mean, how awesome is that? Love that. Life with Archie number 140. They're climbing up the side of a cliff right before they're about to blow it up. <laughs> that is cool. Another Brian Boland Wonder Woman uh, issue number 181. That is really nice. That one's got to be worth more than a dollar. Walter Simonson Thor 342. I think there's other Walter Simonson. Oops, a little bit sticky. I should have probably grab more of those. Uh, Brian Boland Wonder Woman 98. These are all very collectible. Adventure Time number 21. All right, let me clear these out. Okay, got another big old stack here. 
We got Flash 300. That is very neat. It's like a thicker issue. Life with Archie 37 variant. It looks like they were trying to get $5 each for these, so I'm really happy to get them for a dollar. Uh, number 37 variant. That is a really cool cover. Uh, Teen Titans 28. It's a cool Terra cover. I think... Uh, what is it? Her first appearance is a couple issues before this, I believe. Or if not, it's still a cool cover. For a dollar, I'll take it. Uh, Life with Archie 151. Fun Three Musketeer cover. Uh, Life with Archie 154. Nice snowing Christmas cover. I mean, I like these. These are really nice covers. Life with Archie 155. Life with Archie 158. 159. More Gru. Gru 41. Gru 34. Marvel Team Up 131. Love that cover. Uh, Magic the Gathering number one. Or the Shadow Mage number one. That is cool. More 80s Batman number 385. I'll grab those all day. And I'll grab Bronze Age Daredevil all day 162. 173 superman 290 i'll grab almost any 25 cent cover comic book for a dollar uh green lantern 154 107 133 fables 106 fables 109 fables 108 fables 107 these are all have beautiful covers uh fables 112 okay more grew like i said they had a ton of Gru. I think they had like 40 or 50. My friend Sean almost grabbed them all for me. Uh, Gru 48. Gru 46. Gru 25. Gru 24. Gru 23. Uh, Life with Archie 138. Uh, and these all look in decent shape. Like I don't see any major damage. I'm really happy with those. Life with Archie 137. 130. Gru 15. Gru 11. Gru 10. Gru 5. Amazing Spider-Man 579. The Flash 293. Alright, another stack. Uh, Gru 16. This one might be water damage. It feels a little wavy. Gru 44. Gru number 2. It has a chip out of that. But if I sell it for 2 bucks, someone will get that. Uh, Gru 43. Gru 17. Gru 47. Gru 40. Gru 39, Gru 38, Gru 36, Gru 35, uh, Wonder Woman 113, a little bit sticky, Wonder Woman 16, these ones are a little bit warped, but it's still for a dollar, figure out grabbing Wonder Woman 15, uh, Last right, some Antarctic press comic book, I have no idea what it is, but I do like this kind of older anime stuff, uh, Fables 18, Gru 31, Gru 30, Gru 29, Gru 27, Gru 52. So many issues. Okay, and then uh, let's see what we got. We've got the Incredible Hulk 38. I really like that cover. I don't think I've seen that one before. Awesome cover. Eternals number six. I think I actually still needed that one. Uh, RG 37 variant. Duplicate that. Another duplicate, I think. Gru 51, Gru 49. Gru number seven. I don't like the way this box looks weird to me, so I don't know if this is a variant or not. Uh, Gru 14. Gru number nine. Uh, Teen Titans number 30. Another Terra cover like that one. Not in the greatest shape. I do like the character. Uh, Gru 22. Gru 21. Gru 26. Gru 18. Uh, Pacific Gru number three. I wasn't paying attention. I didn't realize it was a Pacific Gru. That is really neat. Uh, Gru 45. Doctor Who number 15. Okay, those are cool. Let me clear that stack and get the next one. Okay, we have another Avengers JLA 4. Again, for a dollar. I can't resist that because this is like a $20 comic book. Uh, Captain America 136. The bag looks like it has some kind of weird water on it, but I don't know if it's the actual comic or not. The comic itself might be all right. But for a dollar, why not? Uh, Action Comics 404. Fantastic 4181 in decent shape. Thor 269. Fantastic 4219. Oh, let's move that over just a little bit. Uh, Action Comics 459. Superman 178. Now, let's see, the spine is all messed up. It looks like water damage or something. But for a dollar, 12 cent DC comic book, yes, I'll buy that. 
Uh, Justice League of America 114, that one's cool. Super Friends 42. Peter Parker 70, or early Cloak and Dagger cover. Superman 355. Batman 449. Okay, we have Batman 694. That one's cool. Uh, Justice League of America 144. That's a cool cover. It looks in decent shape. For a dollar, yes. Uh, Justice League of America 177. Captain America 243. 247. Planet Hulk Incredible Hulk 97. That is cool. Uh, Rise of the Snake Man Masters of the Universe number 2. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz number 4. This is a Scotty Young comic book. So I'll grab every cover, every variant I can find of that comic book. Uh, Batman Annual number 10, Batman Annual number 12, and Detective 595. This old school Batman stuff is awesome. I love it. And it sells well for me. So I need the time I put it in my shop for like 3 to $5, it's going to sell. Uh, Detective 548, 596, Wonder Woman 202, 201. These are really beautiful painted covers. 223, 206, 205. 221, uh, X Infernus number three, a David Finch cover that's really nice. The thing, uh, not sure the number, but I really like the cover, so I grabbed that. Uh, Doom Patrol, this is the young animals issues, I guess, in a trade paperback for a dollar. Yes, I actually want to read that. Okay, oh, we got all right, we have more of the Scotty Young. This is the Road to Oz, a different series, but Scotty Young stuff, love that. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, number one variant, J. Scott Campbell. That's probably got some value to it. Hulk Annual, number 12. Uh, Batman 354. Back to the Future, number one. Love Back to the Future. Archie's Joke Book, number 202. I thought that was a pretty fun cover. Superboy and the Legion of Superheroes, 227. Wonder Woman, number four, George Perez comic book. Judge Dredd, number six. This is a really fun painted cover. And the interior artwork's pretty awesome, too. It looks like it's like watercolored, maybe. I don't know. I just thought that was really awesome. And then Judge Shred number 11. Another fun painted cover. Wonderful Wizard of Oz number 7. And number 3. Number 8. Yeah, dollar each is a really good price on these. I think, like, if I put these in a lot on eBay, I think you get $3 to $5 a piece easy. Uh, number 6. Those are cool. Okay. All right, we got Master Kung Fu number 80. I want to fill in this set, so at a dollar a piece, I'm happy to grab some. Captain America 240. Uh, Master Kung Fu 88. Number 81. Number 48. Uh, super Teen. It's a Super Betty, I guess. I thought that was kind of neat. Grab that. And then Evil Heart, another Archie superhero comic book. Wonder Woman 102. Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man 43. It does have a like, grease pencil on there, but I think I can get that off with a Zorberine eraser. Uh, Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man 11. Porky Pig. Don't know the number, but it's an older issue. That's cool. Conan 52. In decent shape. That's a cool issue to get. Uh, Baby Huey number 40. They had it in the $3 bin, but he gave it to me for a dollar. So that's awesome. Uh, Kevin America 243. 246, Daredevil 217, Captain America 223, Master of Kung Fu number 47, Wonder Woman 26, Wonder Woman 20, Fables number 4, cool earlier issue, uh, Machine Man number 16, it's got some crud on the bag, but the issue itself I think is in decent shape. Alright, next stack, we have some more of this cool... One dollar service. I'll buy service all day long for a dollar. Uh, what was that? That was number 112, 113. Is that double issue? Not sure what that meant. <laughs> it's got two numbers on it. This is 110. Uh, Wonder Woman 34. Doomsday Clock number 11. Wonderful Wizard of Oz number 1. The Greatest Hits, I guess, version. Uh, Iron Man 126. Um, Madman number 2. Love Michael Arwood stuff. Batman Comics number 4 and number 5. Those are really cool. Iron Man 140, 124. Uh, Superman 75. I have so many copies of this, but this is a fourth print. I like getting the other printings because I think it's a little bit rarer, so that's kind of neat. Uh, Batman 380, Detective 533, 
A Wonder Woman 60. That's a fun logo cover. Superman Wonder Woman Annual Number 2. I love the series. I don't know if I had that annual though. Uh, Captain America 227. I don't buy a lot of newer comic books to read, but this is one series I was reading as it came out, and I really enjoyed it. All right, we got more of this cool Cerebus. I love this stuff. So we have number 92. Uh, Green Lantern 157. Thrill Killer Batman and Robin number 3. It's a cool issue. Uh, this side up. Oh, no. Superman number 52. Darwin Cook cover. Love that one. That one's cool. Uh, Green Lantern 180. Green Lantern 126. Green Lantern 103, a little bit earlier issue. 102, these are cool. For a dollar, that's excellent. Uh, Fables 16, love that cover. Fables 20, Fables 18, Fables 12, Fables 7, Fables 13. Like I said, I got like issues under 20 and above 100. Number 6, number 17, uh, Wonderful World of Oz, number 2, second print. And uh, Cerebus number 94. That's a cool cover. I like that one a lot. Uh, let me move these stacks. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Cerebus. Let's see the number on there. If it's under here, maybe. Number 100. So it's celebrating 100 issues. It's got number one in here. I guess these are a couple other key issues in the run. That's cool. really like that. have that. Uh, Green Lantern 164. 147. Silver Surfer 92. I think I have most of the issues, except I'm missing a few towards the end of the run. So I kind of grab those when I see them. Uh, really cool Michael Arwood life with Archie variant. I was really happy to see that. I thought that was really neat. Uh, New Mutants 27. Is this second full appearance of Legion, I think? Uh, Justice League of America 133. A couple of those. So I'll be able to sell one. I might be able to sell two. I might have it already. Uh, Conan 111. Love old Conan. This is the same thing. It's a third print. I like getting those later printings on the DC stuff because that's a little bit rarer. This is also a third print. I might not grab those if they weren't third prints. Uh, Cerebus 157. Number 158. The Road to Oz number 5. Road to Oz number 4. And Betty and Veronica Vixens Hunted number 7. That's a cool looking issue. Okay, and then this is the last stack. So I'm going through these pretty quick, but you can get a general idea that, you know, digging through the dollar bin, sometimes you find a lot of fun stuff. The Wonderful Wizard of Oz, number five. Uh, Archie 608, with Josie and the Pussycats on the cover, or Josie. Uh, Blossom 666, another Archie, like a cool horror Archie comic book, that's neat. Archie 500, I wasn't really grabbing more of these like early 2000s ones, but I just thought that was a nice key issue, it looked cool. Uh, Wonder Woman 25, Wonder Woman 99, another Brian Bowling cover, DC Comics Presents 56, Cable and Deadpool 34, Cerebus 106, I like these moon covers, I think they're pretty cool actually, Cerebus 108, another cool moon cover, Cerebus 109, cool star cover, those are really neat, uh, Doctor Who 16, Doctor Who 19, Doctor Who 17, I thought these were pretty cool, Doctor Who 18, Doctor Who 15, uh, Cerebus 105, another moon cover, Cerebus 91, Detective 587, Daredevil 198, Detective 590, Brave and the Bold 121 with the Metal Man, that one's pretty cool, Cerebus 97, Cerebus 102, Cerebus 96, Cerebus 103, Cerebus 101, Cerebus 114, and the final issue is Cerebus 99. So that was actually a pretty awesome batch of dollar books. Woo, that was a ton of fun. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.